we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun Hi everyone, it's Holly and we have emerged from our winter slumber. It is finally warming up here in Montana. It's mid 70s and it just feels so good. The air smells amazing. All this pine, I just love it. You know how much I've always wanted to come back to Montana and I'm so happy. So we have started building the workshop and I will show you that here in a little bit and just give you a little tour. But everything is going well here. We're getting ready. I'm coming back to soap making as soon as this workshop is up and ready to go. I don't know when that'll be. We do still have to get some of our stuff from Missouri. So I don't know how much I could do. I thought I could get started and I was like, wait a minute, I don't have my cutter here. And wait a minute, there's a lot of things I don't have. So we've got to get that back up here. But hopefully there's a run to Missouri happening in May. So. My husband's already uh, at work on the workshop already for today. So I'm gonna give you a little tour and I hope you enjoy seeing our progress. Okay, so we're looking down the driveway right now and I'm gonna spin you around. I'm still learning this contraption for holding my camera, but it does help it to be more steady. And there we have the camper and we're eventually gonna be building the house right here kind of towards the left there and we just moved the camper last weekend which we had settled in quite a bit so we had to move it and move some rock and everything we've gotten quite a bit of gravel in like six or eight loads and right here we actually had a whole pond pretty much just a stale water muddy pond so we needed all the gravel to help us out so the workshop is back here tucked in this little space between the trees it's a slight easement but the developer said that we can build on top of it it's not an easement that is really needed any longer okay so walking towards the workshop now we still don't have to move this rock around we just had it settled into the mud for now and here's our wellhead and it has done some let me see if i can move down whoa too much it has done some significant sinking. You know, a lot of the work was done when we had snow on the ground, so um, a lot of snow was mixed in. So that's part of our issues with all the settling. But from what I understand from a friend that has built from the ground up, that's pretty normal. So I have a tripod out for some work later there. Oh, you have a stick, our dip? Yes, it's very nice. That's a nice stick. We've got some lumber, lots and lots of lumber. So this is going to be my new workspace. That's my husband there, Caleb. And it's a 12 by 32. And we're just working on the framing. We were just going to buy it originally, buy one, but we found out it was gonna be, hold on. Found out it was going to be literally twice what we could we could do it for which is natural pricing so that's not a big deal but we decided to do it ourselves I have lots of windows going in we finished the main framing yesterday and now we're starting on the ceiling and the roof so this section here is going to be where I work my soap studio so hold on I'm like I said still getting used to this thing we are going to put in some counters there I have a nice uh, window there and a window there and I'm hoping to have cabinets all along here and then another window there and here at this end we're actually gonna be putting in a wall and this is going to be like a rec room for our teens. We have three teenagers. Well, one's not actually a teenager anymore, but we have three big kids. And so they're getting a little cramped in the camper. Of course, we're doing okay. But um, we're gonna make a little rec room for them and put in a couple of beds. So that'll be back here. Eventually we'll make this into just like an office or packing and shipping station, etc. 
So anyway, it'll just be like a 12 by 12 room back here for the kids to utilize. And then it'll be an office probably for my husband and I later. And then up here, we're gonna have the door, obviously. But this is going to be a window and we're gonna set it up. We're gonna set it up so that I can mix my life solution outside and all the uh, icky fumes go outside and so it'll be good ventilation there. So it's time for me to put my gloves on and my safety goggles because apparently I work with safety goggles and all my favorite things. Oh, the Doberman is chewing. Do you, do you need to be chewing that Doberman? Anywho, it's time for me to get my gloves on and be a little helpful around here. So we'll check in later. Okay, so we're headed out to work for today, making this super long trek to my workshop. <laughs> it's gonna be so nice to have a separate little building for me to work. So we got started on the rafters yesterday, so that's what our focus is going to be today. We'd like to get it dried in by the weekend. Next weekend, it's Sunday today, April 30th. But I doubt that'll happen. Okay, so it is Wednesday now, and the skies are a little moody. We've gotten really warm here, but it's gonna go back to being cold and a little rainy here in, I think, starting Friday. So, anywho, kinda love the little bouts of thunder. I love a good thunderstorm, but I am glad not to be in the tornado area anymore. So we have the rafters done, and that is very exciting. So we'll kind of walk over here and these kind of kicked our behinds a little bit these rafters but we got them it has a lot of cutting a lot of cutting <laughs> and so 
I'm glad that we're done with that. So now we're gonna start trying to get it dried in before it gets rainy. So let's see, I think I think you've been in the shot the whole time, but anyway, I'm really excited to have this part done. This was a just a big deal. So we're gonna walk over here for just a minute. I guess the thing needs to come down a smidgen. Thank goodness for an eight foot bed, right? Always, oh, look at my, uh, look what I got to traverse here and not fall on my head. Goodness gracious, we have some, a uh, little bit of leveling to do right here. I'm going to walk around, back up again. It's a little shadier over here, so I feel like we can possibly get a better view. So yeah, super excited. Things are looking good. We do have some plastic there that we could throw on the floor if we need to, but I don't think it's going to storm here today. So big deal having the rafters done. We're gonna start getting it all dried in. I assume I will just kind of keep adding to this video for just a little bit longer. All right guys, I'll chat at you with the next update. Well, it is Thursday and my husband is working this week, so that's why we're not getting as much done. He had last week off. We have some thunder boomers developing and we're like, no, please no. It's like that, <laughs> like that scene from The Office where Michael's like, no, no, please no. <laughs> anyway, look at this. No, don't do it, don't do it. So I'm keeping my shoes on in case I need to run out and cover things up but I'm like darned it we just need today to finish the plywood on the roof and then we're gonna get it all wrapped in Tyvek and rain and whatever shield so I guess we'll see I guess we will just see feel like we're playing chicken just a little bit I can see there's kind of some more up in here yeeks Well, good morning, everyone. It is Friday, May 5th, and you can't even see our mountain over there because, well, not our mountain, but you know, the mountain that we see because it rained. We didn't make it. We tried, sorry for my morning voice. Geez, a little gravelly this morning. We really tried to get the shed dried in, and my husband and one of my sons worked until 10 p.m. last night trying to just get it all get it all done but it didn't work so it's a little wet inside we're on a um, run of cool weather right now so it's gonna be rainy now for about a week and the weather is turning colder so tomorrow Saturday is only supposed to be 46 so it's gonna be a little chilly all right so I guess we'll just go ahead and close out this video since there's probably not gonna be a lot of progress on the shed for a while and I will catch up with you on the next update. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.